was right next to John Milius. And she was John Milius' assistant. As time went on, she was hired to be Stephen's assistant. So that's when I got to know her really well, from Indiana Jones. The thing that Kathy has always done from the day she first started working for me is a great, great deal of exclusivity. You feel she's never working on or will work on anything else except your movie. Stephen asked, could you build me a couple of models so we could figure out the truck chase and Raiders? And Kathy said, well, you know, I love building models. I'd love to do that too. So we spent a whole weekend making Jeeps and tanks and trucks. And I thought, huh, I think I love it. I've known Kathy so long that I knew Frank Marshall before she did. It seems like one day I went out for coffee. When I came back, she was producing E.T. Kathy was amazing at organization and just keeping everybody in line. You know, there can be chaos going on and Kathy can solve the problem in five seconds. Anything that needed to be done on the movie, she was game. If we had to drive 100 miles in the middle of the Sahara Desert, she was game to do it. She has tremendous knowledge and a great capacity for problem solving. She's been in every kind of situation. No matter where we were, if there were poisonous snakes, or we were too close to a volcano, or we were in crazy, beautiful, wonderful situations, I always could take a deep breath when I would see Kathy sort of quietly and gracefully in the background. She's fun and she's always lighthearted, even in the worst of times. She's sort of a pinpoint of light in the otherwise dark and chaotic experience. What's so wonderful is that Kathy makes these really small, independent films that nobody sees, and she's okay with that. She just makes a really beautiful little small project that just goes out into the world that maybe just some friends and family, you know, check out. She has been devoted to getting the best out of the filmmaker in a way where she is serving my vision, but she's also serving the screenplay. The contributions Kathy's made to all the films is a very important She doesn't seem to have any sort of personal agenda toward anything other than to get the film done as good as it could possibly be. It's the sign of a really great producer is a producer who can work on a four million dollar movie or a hundred and twenty million dollar movie. Have you ever seen after midnight? I'm inside your body. I'm possessed. Yeah, but never did. What's your pose? Shut up, pose. I'm not bad. I'm just strong. That. Uh, uh, Touch us. For those of us who make movies and know what it takes to make one movie, lightning doesn't strike twice in the same way. The fact that she has a list of credits a mile long of one iconic film after another, I see it. Is astounding. The list is absolutely Kathy belongs to an elite group of filmmakers who continue to define great movie making. To make a movie, it requires leadership, management, strength. She's a proven entity. All my life, I am. I'm a boy. At least it's real inside of the main one. Now, even under this next seat, this kid doesn't even take six for a long time. Kathy, you can change what is it? It's a horse if I'm wondering about some other The fate of human dignity is in our hands! your destiny. Kathy's a perfect choice for episode 7. She's been all over the world making movies and she's great at assembling the right people. And I've got no doubt she's going to assemble a team of people to do Star Wars films that are going to knock people out. He had always made it among his movies, but here's a different challenge. She really respects legacy and heritage, but she's also an innovator. And we've always talked about the need to both respect the past and balance that with the future. Remember. The force will be with you, always. Besides being one of the best producers in the business, she's able to support the creative process of the director and have a complete confidence in the future. She's made great follow-up movies.
Saber up here. Looks great up there, but I need one up here. I'll go. There you go. <laughs> that doesn't, no, it doesn't know. work. It doesn't work. Just have to use your imagination. Okay. Yes. So basically, what I did there, I sort of handed you.